Today we're taking honey off using clearer boards. Hello, I'm Griffey, stuck on Green and Griffey. Here we dug everything, beekeeping farming, countryside living now, we do reviews as well. Now we're down here on probably the biggest site I've got, or definitely one of them. Uh, the one with the biggest honey crop on one site, no doubt. And I've taken the clearer boards down there and we are gonna start stripping the honey from here tomorrow. Um, we may film that in a separate video, uh, we may not, and our ad's obviously out of action being pregnant, so we need to crack on tomorrow morning. Uh, I have got help coming in tomorrow as well, uh, so we'll see. We'll see if I can uh, film a video, but I'm doing a video uh, today using the clearer boards uh, as a backup and instead, and this ties up uh, my latest videos on removing honey using a uh, smoker. Click the link below to watch that video and using a blower. Again, click the link there to watch that video. So we are down on this site to take you there. There is about 20 hives down here. Produced really well. And uh, what I want to see today more than anything is, I haven't been down here for a while. Uh, if you remember uh, my last couple of videos, I was building supers to put them on Fresh Frames Foundation and I actually put them on this site. So let's see if the bees did anything with it. And now these are the supers that I put on, these reddish color ones. One there, one there. Might be one on that massive one. There. That one. Uh, no, not that one. That one. That, that. And that's all done. So let's see what the bees have done. Was bit to eat. Well, well, well. That is full. One, two, three, four. I can't remember how many weeks ago. Can't have been more than three weeks, two weeks maybe. And they have started to draw it. They haven't cut it by the looks of it. So that was not a waste of time. They're definitely gonna fill that in the next three weeks, providing we get some good weather. So we leave that box on and we'll strip these. So who would have thought that? The bees have managed to draw that purely on balsam in August. Well, Everybody thought that was not going to happen, but it has. And uh, yeah, I mean, next week's promising really good, so they should be able to fill and cap that next week. Um, and then by the time I come back then, I still haven't got my Varora treatments. When I come back to do my Varora treatments, I'll take whatever uh, that's de decent or pretty much full then. If stuff is still not full, still a bit wet, then I'll just winter those bees on a brood and a half. So, interesting to see <clears throat> that has been a success, but it's not a success until we check a, a few more. One out of ten or whatever I put down here is not a success. But uh, it does prove a point that it was well worth taking the risk. So, strip the rest of these supers off and I'll show you how to use clear boards. Oh, there is some weight. 
in these boxes. Look how clear that honey is. That seems everywhere I go. This year, bees have produced amazing. And the bees here, Welsh black bees. You can tell by the colour of them. Well. Bees down there, no point inspecting them now. So the honey crop off this hive is one, two, three, four full supers. That one is staying on. Because we're going for five supers this year. Off this hive, we smoke these bees down. Never be afraid to give them plenty of smoke. Show them who the boss is. Right above the queen excluder. Look at that, they've even started drawing up the end frame. Amazing. So, how the clearboard works. Here's my clearboards, custom made for me years ago. So the bit with the rhombus piece, that goes underneath. So the way they work is, bees can see up from the bottom, so they try and come up through the middle. But when the bees are in this super, they go down. Now they can't go down there, so they go down there, and they go either side. They follow the funnel to the end where they can come back out but they try and go back up that way which they can so that's how that works super simple process my favorite 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 way of removing honey uh, doing it like this doesn't really stress the bees out it does take two visits but the second visit hopefully is super easy because all the bees are out of the way right these boxes back on top Glad I've got help tomorrow. it now you got to make sure these joints are tight so otherwise the bees will go back out and they'll rob the boxes so make sure when they're thin go right around the hive check that there is no joints or holes in your supers because it won't work uh, if that's the case if your supers don't fit really tight they're all rotted polystyrene's worn off whatever and bring some tape with you or stuff some grass whatever in there anything you can do to seal that up so basically that's it now i don't know whether i'll get this on footage uh tomorrow basically we come back in the morning it's three o'clock now we'll be back here seven up or seven in the morning and we literally just be taking the boxes off put them on the wheelbarrow into the back of the van that's it we'll keep the blower with us just in case uh sometimes it doesn't work but um, apart from that, that's exactly how we do it. Super easy and very effective. 
Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.